Great, you are welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are looking at how we can build an app, publish it on Play Store, and monetize it. That is making money from the app. So stick and stay, watch the video, and practice whatever you are watching. It's simple and easy. Now, before you can do these three things, create an app, publish it, and monetize it. Because you are doing three things, you need to also have or create three different accounts. That will help you to pass through all these three processes easily. So, in the next session, we are going to look at creating our first account. Which we are going to use our Gmail or any other mail that you have. And then we look at how we can move on. So stick and stay. Let's meet in the next session. Great. You are welcome back. Now in the next session, we are looking at creating an account. Because we said that this tutorial, we are building an app without coding. So you go to this website, appsgaser.com. Then you create an account. You can use your email. Then you sign in. So after you've signed in or after you've created your account, you come to this side. This is your dashboard. So everything that you are doing, you do it here. So you see that that's where you have the premium, publish, download, edit, monetize, everything is here. So now after you've created your account on the AppsGaser website, we are now going to build our first app. And it is pretty easy and simple. So before we can build the app, we need the app icon. You see, when you go to Play Store, you see the logo of the icon. So that is what I'm referring to. Now, for you to get that logo, so the app icon, the size is 512 pixels by 512. So after you've designed it, then you are good to go. So you come back to your apps gazer, then you click on create app. You wait patiently for the next interface to open. Welcome back. So you can see that you have your popular business individual. Come to the individual. And the good thing is you can use your phone to access the same website and create everything. So that is the good part. So let's see individual. Create apps to monetize and generate app revenue. Now let's go to, I want us to create a game. Let's create a fishing game. So you click on it. So this is the interface. Some of the apps, you will get this interface. This is how the game will look like. Some too, you will not get the preview. Don't worry. So this is the background. If you don't want it, you click on this one and then you can change it to this. The player, if you don't want the player, Click on it, you can change it to this. Now the hook, if you don't want this one, big fish, medium fish, small fish. So you, are, you just change them. When you are done, you click on next. So what is the name that you are going to give to your app? So you are saying it's a fishing game. So let's say fishing time. You click on next. So here, what I will say is that normally if you are creating it and you've not created it before, don't use your icon because if you use the icon that you design, when you finish, you are not publishing it right away. You have to install it on your phone. Play it. Have look at the interface the color combination if everything is okay for you then you will come back to this website and create another one with the same name but you change the logo the icon so if you select custom icon you see that giving you the size so let me click on it i have some icons there that have designed the logo and go to apps logo I've used this one so once I've used it when I pick it it will not come for the sake of time let me use the default one so that is how let me go to the rest section see if I have my 
I don't have excess app. Okay, so let me cancel it. So that is how you can bring it. Let me use the default one. Then you click on next. So everything is set. Just click on create. And then you wait patiently for the app to be created. Good. So now, when you come down here, so this is the patient time. When you click on download, then you come up here. See, test your app, publish your app. Pay attention here. Test your app. You you download the APK file, the one that you, you can download from any store that you want, you want to download something from and install it. But here, it, because it's not on Play Store, you actually will download the APK file. So let's click on download. Then when you come to the publish your app here, download this AAB. So this is what the one you use to publish it on Play Store. Play Store, you don't use APK. You use the AAB file. We will talk about that one shortly. So after the app has finished with the download, you now install it on your phone. And then you play to have a look at how the game is. So you can create as many as you want when you come here i have quite a number of them then see that i should update them we will talk about how you can update it so our first app is ready when you create it like this share the apk file with your friends don't share it with the link you see you can share it they, they will tell you to share it whatever if you share it they will come here and they will know that okay this is the site to you so don't share it you can only share the apk file that you downloaded that is downloading here that is just by the way so that is how you can create it let's go to create an app again let's look at something so we've created a game you can also create now this they just introduced this uh, ai chat and it wasn't part these things are new Let's go to the individual. So you can create media player, photo editor, book reader. When you click on it, it will give you the option. So let me click on the book reader for you to look at how the thing is. Welcome back. Create book reader app for Android without coding. Convert favorite ebooks to mobile library. So you read me this one. It will explain to you how you can do it. So when you click on this, now it has given you sites that you can get free books for so you put the book title here then you upload the book as a pdf or you are putting the url there i will suggest that you download the book and you, you upload it because if you put the link there and the site the the owner the one who posts the book they delete it people will click on it to give them error message so this is the interface of the book reader so you down you put as many books as you can there then you customize it you are good to go leave now this same app uh, website will also help you to create a website an app for a website so let me do that one quickly for you to see how it is now you are going to copy the url the domain of that website and come and paste it here so let me see if i have a website that i can copy let me check let me see great so this is the website i built it myself all right so we are going to convert this website into an app then after you are done you can publish it on play store okay so now let's see how we can do it all that you have to do is let's come to this side and copy let's go to create an app and then you see the link that has been there there's an example if it is not like that it will not come then you click on get content so here you can add the following to the site so when you click on add whatsapp then there will be an option whatsapp number and then welcome message you put it there contact us button so when you come to the down part see contact us 
whatever you want to do. Then the app layout. So here you swipe left and right. You can also bring the menu down here or top, depending on what you want. Then you click on next. But I don't want to add any WhatsApp. Let me click on remove that. Remove. Uh -huh. Now you can add Facebook, you can add YouTube. All this, you just have to put the link there, just like the WhatsApp. Now let's move on. So add and in app pages, no. So here you can say add only or no monetization. So no monetization means that you cannot make money from this. So let's go to ads only. If you say ads and in app pages, means that some of the portion of the app will be restricted. Let's say ads only so that you can make money from it. Let's click on next. So the name. And let me say subprime concepts. Click on next. So here the logo. You have to design it. You click on it. Then you click on create. Create for you, and you are good to go. So build is easy. No coding. It's not stressful. All you have to do is make sure you follow the tutorial, and then you are good to go. So after it has finished loading like that, yes, come and click on the download, and you get the pop up down here. Test your app. Publish your app. So you download the APK and then you try it. Great. So that is how we create an app. The rest two are the same. If you want to go always go to the individual, you can create the VPN premium wallpaper messenger. It follows the same trend. Just make sure that when you click on it, you read the pop-up that comes. So plenty you can create all of them. You can create this one bottle the spin the bottle you can create it give it a name and create another one this alone you can even create 10 or 20 or 100 with different names this one to do the same thing great so that is how you can create the app now we've created the app that is the first step we are using it on our phone but until the app is uploaded on play store no one will be able to download it so what we are going to do is that we are going to publish this app on google play store so in the next session, that is what we are going to do. Stick and stay. Great. You are welcome. So like I said, you are going to publish it on Play Store. So here, go to Google and search for Google Play Console. Now when the Google Play Console comes, you just go through and look at Play Console, sign in or create an account. You cl uh, click on create. Now here, for my personal use, because if you select for work or for my business, who knows, maybe they will ask you to provide some documents. Don't worry, you can also try the for my business. You can always create a new email. Once you use this email, you can use it again. So let's go to for my personal use. Now you enter your first name. So let me say subprime. Say name is optional. But please make sure you enter your full name. It's important. This is just for tutorial purpose. You put in your date of birth gender next so it has given you because you entered your name it has given you the suggestions you can also use an existing email that one is pretty easy use an existing email and you are good to go but because this is for tutorial let me use the one they suggested for me and the password let me see if I can get the password. You click on next. So you can add um, recovery email. So let me see if I can add some. It's not important for now. Let me skip. Then phone number. That one too. Let me skip. But please don't skip. Make sure you add everything. So South Prime 49 Gmail. Now. After you've created this, it's important for you to know that you have to accept the terms and conditions. That is number one. And then let's wait for it to load and then we get to number two. So let's see. Two-step verification is so important. Let's move on. Make sure you do it for security purposes. Choose an account. Let's go. Okay, so if you don't turn on the two-step verification, you cannot proceed. So let's turn it on. Get started. So they will send a text message or you can um, select a phone call. Okay, now you turn it on. Great. So this is your dashboard. 
you have to add the uh, phone number and other email and stuff so here this is where we can publish our app it's very important so we created the app on this site now we are now going to publish our app on google play store okay welcome back so now we are at our dashboard where we created the app let's go to this site and say publish app and i want to show you something when you come here this website has made this easy so when you click on publish app the app that is here that is the one you are saying you should publish you should take notes the one you want to publish should be first or highlighted here now let's come to this side now you see it has given you a guideline on how you can publish it so it is saying that visit the google play store developer sign up page and follow our guidelines so we are going to pay a registration fee of 25 dollars 25 dollars usd after that they will verify you and it takes two 48 hours that is two days so after it has been processed they will send you a message that the payment went through successfully then you can start publishing your app okay so on this dashboard you can also use the same app gesser to create your play console account just like we search on google so you can see here for the personal that uh, we have it, that interface we have for an organization and other things so what i will do is that i will take you through briefly and then i will skip to the account we've created so that the video will not be long and you get the understanding mm -hmm. so you can see that these things we have already done them but you can still have access them at the update so maybe i'll end here and then because this email is different from the one we use so let's go back to the previous one that you created the account then you continue from there okay let's come to where we created the account great you are welcome back so now we are at um, our dashboard let's click on um, publish the app so when you want to publish the app this is what you have to do that app that you created it must be here it must be highlighted you click on download so when you click on download you are going to download this the aab so you click on it you wait for it to download now let's come to this side let's go to publish again this time let's come down here so this is the guideline that the website is using to assist you but don't forget that you created an account on google play console where you publish our app so when you come to this website they have it here right click and open it in a, a new tab let's copy the sign up and go to normally i will prefer you create it with a different the same chrome but different window so let me hit on enter so as soon as you copy that sign up from the app gazer it will bring you here because we have already created this our play console account or you can also decide not to create the account separately but when you want to publish the app then you follow the instructions here when you click on it you can also sign up just like the same thing so let's go there now let's go to get started yourself don't forget that when we're creating it we said personal tell us about your any experiences apps you have built or manage or publish if you don't have anything you have to be simple so let me get some tests and put it there for them it's a requirement let me copy this and put it down other google accounts is very important this won't be visible and we we won't send any communication to other google accounts so if you have some you can this then here a website if you don't have a website just click on i don't have a website then you click on next no make sure you tell us about other google accounts you have used telling about other google accounts you have used as fast 
helps to verify your identity. So here you can put, but this one is for tutorial purpose, so I'm not going to publish anything. So let me click on next. Now developer account. So this is where the name you are picking, it will be visible on Play Store. So let's assume that I want to use Surf Prime, and I key in Surf Prime here. When people, when the app is being published, you see that by Surf Prime. So take notes the name you want it to appear on play store now contact name that is if you want to speak to someone about your account this one it will not be shown on play store so you can just say self prime again then email this email should be different from this email the one you've used here so other email address you use it then it is saying verify i don't want to put any email here so let me see training so you see when we are creating it at the initial stage i said i don't have any other email but here so if you are not careful and this one you lie you can be caught so make sure that you fill in the real uh, the correct information So training.com preferred language so English country you select in fact this one don't lie because what you are doing you want to make money from it so when you lie trouble for you contact phone number then you put the contact phone number there so which contact did I use then your city the phone number should be entered on an international format with the country code so you fill in all the necessary requirements all street address so they are saying we should verify the phone number all these things they are making sure that when you you lost your or you forgot your password you can have access to that's why they are saying verify verify and then that's why i'm saying that make sure you provide the correct information else when it is time for them to pay you you will suffer though this one is not where you receive the payment but make sure the information you are provided is genuine so let's verify it so you choose the verification method you want is it uh, a yeah, test message or call so if test message then you get the code then you click on verify so the number is now verified yeah, let's move on or oh, we have to verify the email also else you cannot move on so i'm just going to put in the code that they've sent to my mail and then we continue let's verify it so make sure the information you are provided is correct and genuine now let's move on to next so here if you are not sure provide an how many apps do you plan to publish in the next 12 months? This one, I'm not sure. So let's say two to five. Earning money on pay. Do you plan to earn money from the apps? Yes. How do you plan through ads, through in-app pages? You can select all and then app category here. App design for kids and family. Let me, let me ignore this and see if we can move on. At least select one so let's go for apps design for case banking apps election news apps personal loans apps real money gambling apps. okay so none of this let's move on so you have to confirm that everything is okay now to create your account you will need to pay a one of 25 registration fee you may be asked to verify your identity using a valid id to complete your account registration if you can verify your identity the registration fee won't be refunded so you click on create so you see that's why i was saying everything you are using make sure you use the correct one so when you come to this side you have to add your credit or debit card then you make the payments after the payment is done you get a mail they will verify your account and that is it you are done so until you've completed the play console pay this 25 usd 
you cannot publish your app on play store so now we've created the two accounts let us leave it the last one then the last one is where we can place an ad on it so in the next session we are going to look at how we can publish the app on google play store thanks for watching your questions are all welcome great you're welcome back so in this session we are at the uh, play console so when you come to your play console for you to publish your app you must get the aab file ready that is number one then you must get your icon also ready the logo icon and then you must make sure you have put in or you pay the 25 usd before you can move on now after you have been verified you have this here create an app so you click on this and then you wait patiently make sure you have a strong internet connection else it will not be loading faster and then it will waste a lot of time so the app name this is the name that will appear on play store so though when you are creating it at the other side you give it a name here too you must put the name there this is more important than the other one so the other one you can give any name but when you come here this is the name you are supposed to provide so that people can see it on play store so what was the name of the app we created okay so it was a website so let's put the name there now is it a game or an app it's an app not a game now is it free or paid it's free now you accept the two options and you click on create app great so now we are now going to complete all the requirements so pay attention now you can see that this is the logo we have not added anything this is the name so let's go on you come to you, you ignore the start testing now and then you go to set up your app so you click on the drop down you go to privacy policy so here this privacy policy you go back to this side then i told you that they will give you a tutorial then you click on next so it is saying create an app you click on next you click on next to so set up then click view tax in set up your app privacy policy so this is the policy the link you will put your name here that is the name that you selected for play store note that this one it has nothing to do with play store this site is different from play store they are different sites altogether so you click on generate so you copy this and then you go to your play console and you paste it there after that you click on save so after it has saved you go back to dashboard and then you see it has strike it up it means you are done then app access all the functionalities are free you save it you go back to the dashboard again ads yes it contains ad you save it without the ads you are not going to make money from the app so you, you must make sure that you select the ads you click on dashboard content rating so with the content rating there are questionnaires you have to answer this email they will use it to for an update on the app so it should be different from the one you use to create the console okay so gmail yeah it's not a game and then it's not also for communication so it's all other app types because it's for a website that we converted it now you click on next so here that the app contains this you said no content sharing no online content make sure you read this one no promotion of illustrated no it's just an ad that we share user content and location no allow users to purchase no they don't purchase anything it's not a browser and it's not for education purpose so when you finish you click on save then you click on next so the question is we are done this is the summary of all that we did 
game that I didn't see that for sure. This one, we are not saying it's a game. So let's move on. So the question is to we are done. Now let's go back to dashboard. We are failing all this. So the audience. Select 13, 16, 17. Next. So if here you don't know what to do, just go back to the site. So you click on next. App access. Then here it will give you the if you want to watch the video to ask questionnaires category so you see it's giving you all the 13 and above then I store present so that's where if you reach could your store here select yes because even if you select no because of the age situation they will still tell you if we disagree with you we we will not publish your app or something so just select this so that you put that bars there not suitable for kids then next so we are done you click on save this is the summary of the forms we completed let's go back to dashboard is it a news app now when you create a news app and you say select you tell them where you are going to get your sources from so it's no it's not a news app save it dashboard is it a covid19 contact tracing no it's not you go back to dashboard again data safety so with the data safety unless the forms are complex you just can't complete them so they have made it for you come here come here next now this is the data safety so you click on it and you download it so anytime you are publishing any app you will download this data set provided that app is here on top it's very important now let's go back and say that we are to import from csv the csv is the one we just downloaded so let's go to downloads and then where is it okay now let's say show folder okay so that is number three just drag and drop it you wait patiently when it has done loading the loading has finished as soon as it is done you click on import import again so what this csv does is that it will answer all the questions for you so is it um, which of the following method what is optional anyway say which of the following method of account creation does your app support select or username and password my app does not allow users to create an account click on next another next another next again click on save so instead of you going over the data safety forms the csv they have filled it for you just import it to that so go to dashboard so it has left the last option it's not a government what what app. now let's go to app content so we are done with this it says nine out of eleven so let's click on this store setting so it's an app the category you can see that here is inactive come here and click at it what is the category of the app? Uh, let's see. It's not for shopping, it's not for productivity, it's just for business. Then you click on save. Always make sure that the save button has finished loading before you move on. Forget about the tax. Now store listing details. So the email. Don't use the one you used to create the console use the one that you have been using so that let's assume that there's a problem you get the message in your mail they will give you details on it phone number is optional website will you leave it like that if you have you can put it down if you don't have you leave it so we are done now here external marketing they should advertise your app outside your good place important come to this side and then let's scroll down and see set up your store listing 
so here this is where you are going to describe the app when you go to play store you realize that before you download the app you see a very short description and normally those descriptions are catchy the sanitizing so you can bring something that is unique about your app at the short description and then the full description so here let me say that um, for the sake of time i'm going to copy this short description and put it as uh, the long one so let me copy it now it has it's 80 the short so if it has see this you can now the same you add the full test so let me just duplicate this one and let's move on now this is where i was telling you about the app icon so the icon you uploaded when you were creating the app that one will not reflect on play store it is only helping you to install it on your phone to know how the app looks like but here the icon you are going to upload here this is what will be shown on play store for people to see so it's important then i've given you the size already 512 by 512 just like the other side so let me see if i have any app icon that i've not used let me put it there i'm just hoping that they will not publish this app because if they publish it okay so let me put this one down and then we have a featured graphic now the featured graphic is when you go to the when you go to place where you click on the app you realize that the background that one to the size is here 1024 by 500 in fact if you don't upload this one there's no way you can publish it so make sure you design it i think i have some here i'll just take any of them and put it down and then the app that you are going to upload when you design it you create the app you are supposed to take screenshots on your phone at least four then you upload it here for people to look at how the app looks like but here is the case this one we did not install the app so i'm going to take another screenshot for another app so any app you design you have to get the screenshot it's very very important okay, what app is that let me just copy them and bring them here okay now the rest you can leave them tablets the way to look on tablet and other things so just click on save so as soon as this is saved you realize that this side will change you see the logo has now come so we are almost done let's come here go up here and click back and then scroll down so we were here create app and publish upload an app okay all right so now after you finish with the logo and things when you go back to the dashboard come to test your app with larger or what select countries and regions select countries then you come to add country add regions don't select them one 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 just click on the first one here and everything will be selected and the total is about 177 countries yes so that is it then select this test this one is so important so you leave it come to create a new release so we are now going to choose app bundle this was what i was saying that the apk will be only installed on your phone on play store you need the app bundle so it's the app bundle that when people click on they can download it on their phone so take note now let's go and see if we downloaded it okay i think we downloaded it so let's here is inactive because we might we need a key so let's click on choose key use google generated key good so now we are good to go now release name this one it will not be shown on google so just for you the developer for you to know bottom one now let's go to upload 
let's say the a a b if I invert it, this one the a b is not the father file there's no way you can upload it it will give you an error code it will tell you that you are trying to upload the wrong file type so take note so while the app bundle is being uploaded let's go to the site again now from the data set let's click on this see the government the government has that we selected no the install listing so it will just be guiding you now where we reach and then it asks us to paste our link remember i said we don't have a website so we left that side blank in your case don't leave that side blank come and copy this link and put it there as your website if you don't put this one there as your website link when you want to place the ad you cannot place it there on the app so make sure that when you get to that side the store listing your website where you put our email you put this one down below the email the website then you click on this now the logo or the icon so you come to publish your app now select countries so you can do it both ways for me i know the process that's why i'm not i did not come back here but you you can just follow it here you click on it you do it at your end the google play console dashboard so you upload it and then you click on create new then you upload the aab file so that is where we are now let's check if it has finished okay so we are done let's go to next so when you come here it will give you a lot of error error messages now click on the arrow to look at see your app target under 13 so let's fix this error yes it is for we will advertise on it then you select advertising or marketing then you click save so let's go to app content so you can see that that one it is being solved now it's important so when you see any error make sure you click on it and then you check it out else you publish it and then they will send you a lot of errors so let's see one and which for one is that so you see that we cannot publish it because we have jumped another one step this release will not be available because you haven't specified any tester okay as for this type there is no the whatever file and this leave it like that all my apps that have been published i had this error i don't know i don't even understand why so let's go and complete this one on the dashboard the last two you have to leave it like that so here let's click on this the test test here is not important so i don't know maybe this time they want to make it important but it's not important so let's go to create a new release we are done anytime you click on new release it will ask you to upload the uh, the app bundle so let's go to publishing overview we have the app bundle already then let's go to so if you are lost let's come here AAB, you will see your file uploaded then next save as draft and change release notes okay so that one we did not save it as draft so let's go back we file that stage save and go to overview where is the overview so publishing overview that is what it is saying now let's see so here it was telling me this next go to preview and then in the publishing over we click send one changes for review and it will take three to five days that is if everything is okay it will be live so find the release overview everything is in that production so release countries we are supposed to see release here so let me come to dashboard okay so preview and confirm release create and roll out a release preview and confirm what error again you need to upload an apk 
or wow this really does not okay so let's go to let's go to production and um, create a new release less from the library because we've uploaded it this one if you upload it again it will tell you that it exists so okay so now it was two it has now left there are no countries okay so let's go back to publishing overview then let's go to dashboard so when you come to the dashboard the countries are there okay so select countries now you see because when i was doing it i accidentally click on create release so all the release that we did it cleared everything so that is why we went back to upload the bundle again from the library and then we are now adding the countries again so that is how it is if you click on create new release then the thing you've done you go back again to take notes okay so dashboard we are done now let's say edit release i want to look at something okay everything is intact now here this is what i wanted to look at see when you get to the app integrity the app bundle down it is saying enter or paste the release notes here so if the thing you want uh, your clients or your those who download the app what you want them to read you just put them in between this code so here enter or paste your text here in english it's important so okay now let's see what error is that let's click on save then you go to the dashboard and see now let's go to go to publishing overview good so when you come here you click on send 14 changes for review that is all the things that you've done we are sending them for review so you click on it then confirm so the app is now being sent for review you can see that there's something here manage publishing turn on managing publishing when this one you turn it on yourself when google is uh, they have finished reviewing your app you have to make the app live so let it be up so that automatically it will be live so after you've gone through all this successfully you now go back to all apps and then you can see that in review so after it has been published you see we have production no active release production 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 see that this ones they are live on the play store when you go there you can see them and these ones you cannot see them so that is all the apps here so now we have completed the part one which is creating the app part two creating your google console account and then updating it to pay the one-time fee now it has left the last part which is putting add on your app so this session i'm going to show you how you can update your app great you're welcome back now when you want to update your app go to your app case uh, click on this arrow let's see which of the apps need to be updated um let's see let's see 
okay this one has been removed okay let's click on this prime messenger but let me go and check whether that one is also there okay it's in review and then let me go to magic strike i want to show you how you can update your app magic strike 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 okay you click on it so when you click on it like this and it comes click on download and then you come here you see rebuild and download new aab so you create rebuild and download aab so you are going to upload another aab file and then upload it on play store so what will happen is that people will get the notification that the, this app needs to be updated then they will go and they will update it so let's wait patiently for it to be downloaded then we continue with the tutorial okay so now let's let us finish with the downloading of the aab file let's go to release overview um, let's go to dashboard first so you can see that here view on play store google play let me open it for you to see so 176 countries where is production okay production so when you go to production so you see um there have been some updates i have to update my safety data safety for so you click on create new release now we have to upload the aab so here when you update it you can put a new here, notes here that is something you want the people to know now the same thing you can you let it finish and i'll show you you can also let's assume that this update there has been bug fixes there has been some crashes that you've solved all those things then you can add them here where is the notes yes so let users know what is in your release so you put all the new release here let's say back fixes have been uh, back crashes or whatever has been fixed it doesn't close or not so any new thing that you think is in this one you just include it so that when they are updating it they know that okay this is what is in this new release improve user interface and what have you so that is how you put it over here so we have uploaded this our new so you see that you release this date uh, release details it has given it the version you see 1.01 the first one was 001 1.00 so here like i was saying you put the details there and then let's say let's say it has now let's go to next we will not save it as just a uh, draft okay so here error complete declaration so initially all the apps that were published these things were not there so yes advertising then you see now send for review but i want to complete this data that they are saying so <laughs> so these things are normal you have them there but you can still publish it okay no problem so when you are done you just click on submit 
but I want to this is a data policy I want to fix it declaration okay so you come to start data collection so I want to import another data safety so we'll go there uh, follow let's go to publish we are updating it by the same that our data policy so you click on next so you get to the data safety okay let me generate this now this is the new privacy that is why it is saying policy policy so i have to copy these things and go and paste it but i want the safety data safety form so this is the website i was saying we put it at the other side i want the data okay download it now let me go and then upload the csv so anytime you are updating it you will take notes oh, let me where is the CSV? Show in folder. So it's number four. CSV is data set to number four. Okay. Imports. Yes. Good. So now that our data set has been imported, this one also is there. My app does not allow users to create an account. So next, 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 save, mm, send to Google, yeah. let me see send, then we go to main store setting, okay, so let's assume that when you, your app, you want to change the logo, you just come to main store listing and then the the logo is there is it you can change the description also add something to it yeah you can change them good so see i was telling you that when you are filling this form they will tell you your website and I told you that where they will tell you to copy, you copy that one and put it here. It's very important. Without it, you cannot put an ad on the app. Okay, so we will end here. And then in the next session, we look at how we can put an ad on our app. But before you can put an ad on your app, your app must be published as you can't so let's go to all apps and see if this one it is in review or where is it okay so ready to send for review let me click on it and send it for review because you want it to be published so let's say go to publishing overview mm -hmm. then when you come here you tell them send one for review so when you come to the send one for review this is what we did you see the data safety that we did and then the app bundle and then we also updated the advertising ID now you go to the all apps again and see if that's yes the status has changed to in review it's very, very important so after you've done everything the updates and then you want to know whether it is in review or not just come to all apps if it is not when you click on it you just go to like this one like this when you click on this uh, the fan chart you just go to publishing uh, overview and then see send 16 changes for review. 
and you are good to go very easy and simple so you can see that now you can create your own app and you are good to go so master the steps the steps are here on app the uh, gazer is here all the steps are here you see paste your website link into website or install listing so when you come to install listing where the thing so this is main store listing so when you come to store listing you paste that website that link that they are saying if you have a youtube channel and you have a video on it you just put that youtube video you have here the link here so that when these things are showing on the page on play store the video to will be there when they click on it to send them to youtube it is only youtube video you can use this youtube you are so you end it in the next session what we are going to do is that we are going to put an ad on our app so here is the key after your app has been published you want to know everything about the app come and start from here release overview it will pop up for you to see production it will pop up you know the countries you know all those things you come to testing open testing close testing those things are more important free lunch you come to app builder the app bundle you see so all the things that we're doing they are here but if you want to follow this one at times so you jump some of the steps that is why you must follow and then store credits so you have main store listing custom store listing um, store listing experiment store settings so it will help you to know most of the things here performance analysis conversion then you come to quality ratings and review you have the ratings review analysis so overview performance if it has been there has been crashes you see all those things here then upsize you see everything down here so you see those who have installed those who have downloaded those who have uninstalled and everything so i think the last session we go to the monetization setup but you can do it now unless the app is being published so monetization and about topic name mm -hmm. so you end here in the next session you look at how we can monetize our app what is the video and when you get the concept like i'm doing and i'm not following here these things when you get the concept you can do it but i mean this one though you not follow it you will still need some links and other things so make sure that whilst you are doing it you'll be following it along so that when you get to where you get it you need the link you will not struggle to get the link yeah before you are following it mm, so let's end here